All right, we're back with another project. Um, this time I'm going to show you how to paint a bike helmet or how I did it. Um, so first, basically just lay out the design. I did mine in Illustrator, but you can do it on a piece of paper or whatever. Um, just remember to do both sides so you can kind of see how it looks. And then the next step was just removing the, the decals. Um, this is pretty straightforward. Just used a razor blade, the other side of the razor blade, and then just some WD-40 just to clean it up. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. This yellow MIPS uh, decal was a little bit harder to get off, but yeah, it got that end. And then this is kind of just what it looks like. Um, yeah, pretty clean. And then I wanted to paint these white bits black. So for the paint to stick, you kind of got to sand it down first. So what I did was got a little bit of wet and dry sandpaper and just kind of roughly sanded it. I think I used uh, 600 here, but um, yeah, any fine grit sandpaper will do. And then just make sure you wipe it clean um, so you don't get any residue when you're painting it. Um, here, so just painting it with house paint. Um, you can see that I'm just using uh, British paints. Um, yeah, just I watered it down a little bit just to make sure it was kind of a, a smooth coating. And yeah, I ended up doing two coats. So this is the first coat. You can see it's still a little bit transparent. It's a little bit rough. Um, and what I ended up doing was just sanding it down a little bit, wiped it down, sanded it down a little bit, and then painted a second coat just to make sure it was uh, nice and smooth. And yeah, there you go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, not not perfect, but yeah, good enough for me. This, this is going to be a pretty rough job. Um, and then the next step was just sketching it out. I just used a pencil. Um, sketching out the flames. I had the, the helmet art I did up for reference. Um, it's always going to be a little bit different when you're transferring flat art to something that's 3D. So just kind of sketch it out, take a look at it, make sure you're happy with it. Um, you can kind of see how it looks. Um, as I was sketching it, I found it pretty hard to sketch with the pencil. So I was kind of a little bit uh, nervous for the next step when I had to paint it. Um, but yeah, here you can see um, there's a little bit of residue where the MIPS were. So MIPS decal was, so I sand, end up sanding it a little bit more um, and then just sanding all the kind of rough edges. Uh, next step was painting. Um, here I wanted to paint the, the flames gray. So I used, uh, just mixed up some gray paint um, and then here, just painting uh, with the brush, just trying to be careful. Um, basically, this comes with experience, um, but this is the first time I was doing it. So really, it's a, it's a combination of um, how you hold the brush um, and how much paint you put on the brush itself. Um, and here you can just see I wasn't happy with the line, so I just ended up just wiping it down with water. Um, if you do this pretty quick, then you should have no problems. It should come straight off. And then, yeah, I just ended up painting all the flames in. Yeah, it was a little bit, it was like way harder than I thought it would be just because of the curvature of the helmet. And then there was all these different, um, facets and angles on the helmet. And then you couldn't really lean your ha hand anywhere. So at that point, once I started, I just knew that, yeah, it's going to be pretty rough, but I'll just, yeah, just do the best I can and then see, see how it turns out. Um, but yeah, I was pretty overall pretty happy with the result, pretty stoked on it. You can see here, uh, just I still have to cut in with the black. Um, so you can see me cutting in here, just basically just straightening up the gray and then uh, just fixing the edges up and then just sanding areas where it got rough again. Um, and then just cleaning it up. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. Pretty straightforward. Um, here's the old one, and here's the new one. Yeah, I'm pretty hyped with it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy overall. I think it looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to go for 100% perfect. But yeah, here's some photos, and that's it.
Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.